so uh, today is the day that I said we were going to the Blue Mountains. Sorry, it's really sunny. I'm just going to put my sunglasses on. So we um, we actually left the hostel at eight o'clock, um, which we probably should have left a bit earlier. So yeah, we left the hostel at eight o'clock, and by the time we um, we went for a takeaway coffee and we navigated the maze that is Central Station. I hate that place. The underground signed very well, but the actual like train station part isn't so great. By the time we'd done that and found the uh, Blue Mountains line to get the train up here, it was about five minutes past nine. So we got on the train at 16 minutes past as we pulled away and um, we've got here about two hours later. So we've just got to Katumba station, which is what you can see all behind me. And um, we're gonna walk in towards somewhere, not sure where. We don't really know what we're doing. We should have done a bit more research, but yes, that's why I'm here. Um, so you guys know what you'll be doing rather than wandering around aimlessly. We're gonna try and find maybe tourist info or something and find some walks to do up here. It's a beautiful day. I think maybe I dressed a little bit for cold weather. I thought mountains high up, cold. Uh, money, money to get here. We used our Opal card. Um, the guy told us it would be about $16 return, which reminds me, we need to tag off. I need to do that. Uh, so yeah, $16 return to get up here with the Opal card and yeah, two hours on the train. So I will show you a bit more later. Nice to meet you. Gin? Vodka? Don't drink too much. What is it? Oh no, tequila. Hey, so we've just decided because of the time um, that we're going to do the Explorers uh, $40 bus route thing. It just means we can hop on and hop off as much as we want. And because it's already like quarter past 12, it means we'll get to see as much as possible. You may notice I'm not wearing my sunglasses. Since I last filmed, I managed to lose them, which is really annoying. So I'm just going to walk down Katumba High Street and see if I can find some more. And I'm already getting strange looks. It's a thing. It happens. Ooh, maybe here. I managed to find some anyway. We're just walking um, to try and find the bus stop to get on. We've got a few minutes left, but we're gonna have a look at the um, the info and see where we actually kind of really wanna go. Um, Cause we don't know. Feeling like a proper tourist right now. We've just got on the tour bus. Um, we're gonna stop on the map. It's number eight, Katoomba Falls first. We've decided we're gonna do a bit of a loop and work our way back to Lura Station instead. So it's only about five minutes off the train time, but it just means we're not doubling back. Hopefully I'll get some views off the bus for you. The driver's talking. Very rude. I'm trying to video. Now right there in the very middle of the guidebook, you'll also find a map for the circuit. And the best way to use this bus, particularly if you are only here for the one day, is to make sure that you begin with the low numbers first, working your way through. Obviously, on the circuit, if you miss something, you'll have to go all the way around, bring yourself out again, and that would be at least an hour you've lost out of your day. You don't want that to happen? Begin with the low numbers, work your way through. Choices. I'm going to say left, but I don't know. <laughs> We're taking my left turn, probably a bad move. We have come to a strange building. I do not know what it is, 
but we're going to walk through it. Jesus loves you, so everything's oh, fine. Oh, everything's fine. <laughs> Hiker's just pointed that out. How lovely. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's stone. How exciting. So we're at Katoomba Falls now. It's the first stop we got off on the bus, and it is pretty cool. You can see the falls down below. It's what I showed you first. Um, and yeah, look at the view. A waterfall. We're uh, at Witch's Leap apparently. We didn't actually know we were coming here. We just decided to walk between the bus stops. It's pretty cool. It's, apparently we must not drink from the creek. I don't even know how you would get down to the creek to drink from it, but here you go. There are many, many steps. You need to be fairly fit for this. And I'm not. I'm struggling here. I'm out of breath, hot. It's very pretty. But yeah, lots of steps. When we started this walk, I said, it won't take us long. We're all fairly fit. Well, maybe I spoke for the others, but I didn't speak for myself. It's not easy going. There's loads of steps, it's very pretty, but if you have bad knees, or bad ankles, or you're just really unfit, I don't recommend it. I even found a lizard, sorry. But he's hiding. No lizard for you. Hey! So we've just hopped on the hop on hop off bus again and um, we walked from stop 8 to stop 9 up loads of steps uh, and we are going to stop 14 which is Sisters Point Plaza. There's three big bits of rocks you might have seen earlier are known as the Three Sisters. There's two different um, Aboriginal legends surrounding them but basically to combine the two it was pretty much that they were turned into stone to protect them. So that's where we're going to go next. It's really hot, very, very hot. I'm melting. But it's nice. It's pretty. Just got off the bus at Echo Point um, and we're heading to Three Sisters Plaza to have a look at that, which is very exciting. Very exciting. Um, I don't know how high up we are, but it looks pretty high up. I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure there's information somewhere. I get some very strange looks. It's quite amusing actually. And yeah, I haven't got a lot else to tell you at the moment, but I will show you the view shortly. That's good. Behind me is the three sisters. I'm continuing to get lots of strange looks. Um, they're the three stone pillars I told you about on the bus. And yeah, they're just down there. We 
we've just we've finished the Echo done. Point Three Sisters <laughs> Plaza. Um, we're gonna walk towards number 15, which is the Honeymoon Lookout, which actually seems to be like a little bridge in between two of the three sisters, so that's kind of cool. Um, so that's where we're heading to now. Just want to point out there is a tourist info at Echo Point, so if you want um, any information when you get off the bus at that stop, you can just go there. There it is. Okay, so we didn't actually do the honeymoon bridge. There's some really steep steps and so many other people that we didn't really fancy trying it. Um, it's like 80 meters of pretty, pretty steep steps. So instead we're gonna walk to the Lure Cascades. <laughs> what are we laughing about? What? Oh, you ruined my video, Irene. She doesn't care. Yeah, we're going to the Lure Cascades instead. Um, because we don't want to break our knees or if you're Irene fall down the stairs yeah so that's where we're headed you always miss it <laughs> we just look like a hippie running through the forest we've just spied a hippie running through the forest sadly I wasn't quick enough to film it for you he ran from somewhere over there past us barefoot over here down there I wish I had caught that on camera Anyway, um, yeah, we have followed, we're sorry, I'm going to talk to you like this. We followed the path to um, Lura Cascades. However, which way should we go? Is it down here? Maybe up here? Maybe over here? Who knows? There's no freaking signposts. <laughs> it seems to have fallen off which is very annoying. Um, so we're gonna pick a direction and probably get it wrong, <laughs> which will be funny and annoying. Um, why, why are there not more hippies? I want more hippies to run through the forest. Oh, I was gonna say he, looked he looked like he was on drugs. I think he might be. He did look like he was on drugs. Anyway, no. we've uh, chosen a path out of the three and it just happens to be the one the hippie emerged from, running away from something that looked terrifying that's the one we decide to head down. So we're finally, well, hopefully, um, going to Lura Cascades. We keep seeing signposts. We've been walking for hours, hours, I tell you, and these signposts keep changing the distance. We got to one, only 750 meters. We get to the next one, one kilometer. We'd already walked 250, so don't trust the signposts, they're wrong. If there is even any at all, you may not even have any, which is always a bonus. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going still. We're here! Hurrah! Look, we found it! We found it, my prettiest! We found it! We think the other one may have been cool. That's it. It's pretty cool. I can't see up there. There's more. They're all the way up there. I'm blind. Just a note for you. If you want to do the Lure Cascades and you're asthmatic, I'm not, it, I'm, it's just a, an idea. Take your inhaler, there's so many stairs. Do not die, it's very beautiful. It would be a beautiful place to die, but take your inhaler, please. Yeah, 
yeah, even if you're not asthmatic, you might want a Ventolin inhaler. <sighs> Feel the burn. I think we'll have sore legs tomorrow. Very, very sore legs. So after a very sweaty walk, turns out we weren't even where we thought we were. It was Zura Cascades, but we were at a completely different bus stop. Again. Someone is rang the bell, so someone's getting off. Not me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we weren't actually at the bus stop we thought we were at. Uh, we were somewhere <laughs> slightly different. Um, we are <laughs> another fishy salad for Heike and then I have this <laughs> vegetarian quesadilla and it looks good so I'm gonna tuck into that and I will speak to you soon hello just on the train back after a pretty stop watching it <laughs> they're watching me um, after a pretty long day at the Blue Mountains we're all pretty tired um, but I just wanted to say that I hope you will stop staring at me. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. Definitely check out the Blue Mountains when you're in Sydney. You don't need to do a trip, you can do it yourself. You don't have to do the Explorer bus, but I think it was worth the $40 because we managed to get pretty much everything we wanted to see in. They're still watching me, it's really off-putting, so I'm going to sign out for now. See you later.